The media report that Biden's campaign suffers from enthusiasm gap. See, what they mean by that is that over here is the concept of enthusiasm. And then there's a gap. And then after that gap is Joe Biden. He has an enthusiasm gap because he is the actual opposite of enthusiasm. And you may have noticed Joe Biden's not doing any campaigns. And I have a theory, or he's not doing any events, rather. He's obviously, he's doing a campaign. He's not doing any events. Slip of the tongue. Joe Biden's not really doing any events. He's not really showing up. He's not really doing much. I have a theory as to why that is. I think it's because his campaign knows that the more he talks, the less people like him. That he is incapable of winning more people and winning more votes. Remember what happened the last time somebody with that same predicament ran against Donald Trump. Just remember what happened. Hillary Clinton, same boat. The more she talked, the less people liked her. The less people wanted to support her. That's why she didn't bother going to Michigan. She didn't bother going to Wisconsin. She had only things to lose by going there, probably. Or at least that's what they calculated. They're calculating the same thing for Joe Biden. They're saying it's because, well, he just doesn't have to work as hard because of name recognition. Do you really think, do you really think that Joe Biden's campaign staff doesn't see the attendance Bernie is getting? And I know that, that, that the case can be made that they're very tone deaf in many ways, and I'm sure that's the case. But they're campaigners running a presidential campaign that have presumably been doing the work for a long, long time. They do, at the very least, know how to look at other campaigns and see what's going on. Anyone with half a brain who's running a campaign where your big competitor is Bernie Sanders, you would look at Bernie's attendance. You would look at the enthusiasm around said candidate and you would say, holy shit, we got to get our asses out there. No campaigner would say, oh, we just don't have to work as hard. It's easy. Hey, that other dude's filling up a stadium. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. No, and it's not even pride at that point. It's just you're completely clueless. So, no, I think what's really going on, they know what Bernie's doing, but they know that Joe Biden, the more he talks, the less people like him. So if you keep him in holding for as long as frickin' possible, you are better off. They know that. And again, remember what happened the last time somebody with that same predicament went up against Donald Trump. We all know what happened. And the same thing is likely to happen again. I don't think Biden would beat Trump. All right. So there you go. Biden has an enthusiasm gap because he is the opposite of enthusiasm. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today.